In Colossians, the last chapter, we have a great exhortation about how we talk and what we say. It says, Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each other. You know, the voice and what you say. I love the story that's told about this woman who had six kids and a husband, and she was having problems with her throat, with vocal cords. She went to the doctor, and the doctor said, you know, you need actually to not speak for six months. She said, what? Six months, I have a husband, I have six kids. That's almost impossible. He said, well, you could damage your vocal cords for life if you don't. Well, she agreed, but it was difficult. To summon the kids, she had to blow a whistle. To answer questions and to give questions and to talk to them, she had to write everything down on a notepad. And it was six months of this. And at the end of it, someone asked her the question, what is it that you learned or what was the experience like or did you gain any insight from not being able to speak for that amount of time? And she said, you know, what was the most impacting to me was many times in a fit of anger or, or a difficult time, I would write down things I wanted to give to my husband or to my kids. And then after reading them, I would realize and I'd crumple them up and throw them away because I'd realized it was harsh or it was really too direct. And what she come to find out was that many times we speak before we think. And so she took this verse to heart, you know, to think about what you say, let it be seasoned with grace and salt. And the thought I want to leave you with is, suppose you had to write down everything you say and hand it to someone. I'm sure it'd be edited. It'd be, it'd be like emails. It'd be like text. You know, you, you're careful what you say and what you write. And that's what Colossians is saying. Let those things we say to each other be seasoned with grace and with salt. And what a difference it makes to the hearer and what an impact it has even on our hearts, the things that come out of our mouths.